What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, windy conditions have kept us on the shore for the last oh, three or four day, days now. But I'm determined to get out here today as it is our second last day of being able to fish. We only got two more days here. Tomorrow will just be pack up and cleaning up day, but it's gonna be an interesting day. I took gravel before I came out this time. Hopefully it makes my stomach settle a little bit, but we're not gonna push it too, too much if it's really crazy big swells and we're gonna turn around and head back to shore. That way I don't get yelled at. Most interesting part is gonna be making it past the mouth of the bay here. It's where all the waves bounce up against both sides of the rocks. Nice little turbulent section there. Hold on to your butts. All right, guys, you know the drill. We got our sliding bait rig. Only got a couple herrings brined up left. So, we're gonna use those. I think I got six herring, a couple anchovies. I'm gonna try and get a quick ling in here. I've had a tendency this trip to get broken off on these rigs. So last night, stayed up for a while and retied all of them. Then we went to heavier, heavier leader for the main line, or leader line, sorry. Hopefully that helps. Okay, ready to go. I already feel terrible. Pain and suffering I put myself through for you guys. Let's get it. There's a fish, I think. Yeah, that's a fish. Hopefully he's not just holding on. Oh, you bastard, I think he was. He's still there? That was you making all that racket down there? What the hell? So we got a copper rockfish here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Quick release too. I'll find. There he goes. They tire out really quickly on the way up. Just give them a second, they'll go. I really hope that's not a sea lion. I'm gonna be pissed if it is. Anyways, yeah, we're only in, what, 65 feet of water here right now. So when I am fishing for lingcod and rockfish, I'm looking for shallower spots. That way, I mean, you can fish for them deeper and you probably get bigger fish that way. But the amount of fish that you have to go through to get those bigger fish and then send them down on the descender and you know how it is, it takes time. So I prefer to fish shallower and then I'm increasing the chances that the fish can get down on their own. There's also no guarantees. That's why I have this equalizer behind me. Just pop that thing on real quick and send them back down because we want them to be here for future generations to enjoy. Right? Right. Are they moving in with the tide? I don't know. I don't know what to do. They're all between 20 and 40 feet.
Change of plans, guys. I'm gonna drop a jig down here really quick. Let's try a jig. This isn't even my. This isn't even my jiggy rod. I'm getting hit here by something. Oh, nice black rock fish. Is that what it is? A school of black rock fish down there? Not salmon? I think it's black rockfish down there, guys. Here I was getting excited that possibly it was salmon, but there's some big, marking some big fish in there. See if we can't find them again and why they're suspended out here. If we get one around like 20 inches or something like that, I'll keep it all day. <coughs> here we go. Here's where it's thick. Save that for after the ling cod. Save you and so you know what. Change the plans up altogether. Let's go artificial with this big boy. Woo! Another big one from Lighthouse Lures. Not the Goliath, it's a little bit smaller. I think it's 16 ounce. But drift that around the bottom for a bit so we don't waste all our bait. Probably less likelihood, less likely to get uh, snagged up with this guy too. Is that a lingcod hitching on there? 
Oh yeah, it is. Okay, take it, baby. I don't know if he's hooked because he's not pulling. There's a ling on this swing bait, swim bait, I think. I don't know if he's hooked. He might just be grabbing on and holding on, so. Here's my leader. I'll try and bring him in really gently. I might be able to get him into the net, even if he isn't hooked. Pulling drag, pulling out line, and my light, my drag is pretty much locked down. Where are you? I see color. I can see the orange from the swim bait. Another big cab is on. Whoo! Guys, look at that thing. Oh! Can't tell exactly how good he's hooked. Obviously enough to pick him up by the mouth. Got him. Look at that thing, you guys. Whew. On the swim bait. I don't have my stringer in my boat. That sucks. <clears throat> okay. Do I have my bat at least? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And I don't have my stringer either, so I'm gonna have to bleed him in the back of the boat. Okay. Cabazon. It's my third decent sized Cabazon of this trip. It's about the same as the first one, a 24 inch. Let's see if I can pick him up here. Look at that guy's big old Gabby. I don't have my stringer, so I'll have to bleed him in the back of the boat. <sighs> okay. Now, let's finish tying this up. We'll hopefully go back there and get another one. 79 feet of water and dropping.
Mm. Is there fish on there? There is too. Something hit it on the way up. See you. God, I don't have my fish grips. I don't have a stringer. It's a decent ling. There's a nice sling cod, guys. But is he legal? That is the question. I don't think so. So we're gonna flip this hook. See you later, buddy. That probably was right on the edge of being legal. He hit it on the way up, which is interesting. But by the time you pull him into the boat, I don't have my fish grips with me, or net them, stresses the fish out just to find out that he's a quarter inch shy or half inch shy, it's not not worth it for me. Just flip the hook beside the boat, there's bigger fish out there. And we're not that desperate yet for a fish. So, keep fishing. Four herring left. Well, that's it guys. It's gonna do it. The sun is starting to set. And the sun is also starting to set on our time here in Yuki. We only have one more day. This was the last fishing day. I wanted to get out one more time. Just because it's not every day I get to fish this side of the island. Managed to get a 24 and a quarter inch cabazon, which I'm happy with. It's been an unreal time here. I've had so much fun fishing here visiting all our family and just enjoying the sights. As always guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Casey Kayak Fishing. Thank you all so much for all the love and support. Until next time guys, we're out of here.